What's going on guys and welcome to episode 17 of my RTG and in today's episode we have our Division 3 Rivals Rewards. Last week I had Division 2, this week we have Division 3, we got relegated, it was on a really bad run of form. I didn't really play much yesterday, I just got my wins because I was already in Div 3 after a really bad bit of form. But we do have our rival rewards anyway. 40,000 coins is insane. I think that takes us up to pretty much like almost 1.1 million now on the account. So we're definitely going to be able to upgrade the team. That's the main thing. So these are the packs we get. 75 times 35 untradeable. 40,000 coins. 75 times 15 tradable. An 82 team of the week pack. As well as two player picks that are tradable. And a mega pack. Nothing like crazy. But the 40,000 coins is pretty good. And you never know, if we're lucky, we'll hit something in one of these player picks. So let's see what we get. Right, the first one of four 80 plus tradable is going to be... Can we get a walkout? Let's have a look. We do get a walkout. We get a Rudiger! Oh my god, no way! No way! <laughs> oh my god, it just... The luck, the luck, guys. The luck just doesn't stop. I don't know if he's still crazy value. He is, he's still worth well over 100,000 coins. Wow, and I needed a centre-back. And we just put Mendy in last video. We might have to use him. We might have to just put him straight in the team. That's an insane start. And in the second one, we're going to get an inform. We get an inform Gurassi. We'll take that. I don't think he's worth anything, but still. That is an absolutely insane start. This card is actually crazy. Like, he's going to... I think I honestly think he might just go straight in the team, guys, because I've got I've got Mendy now, so he would just fit in the squad. Oh yeah, man, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use him. I think I'm gonna use him. What a start! What a start! So yeah, guys, as you can see in the top right, we are now 1.1 million, so we're gonna be able to make some crazy upgrades to the team. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, I recommend you go check it out. We've hit three massive, massive pulls and complete changes for the RTG. We made millions technically yesterday. It was all untradeable, but. We made absolutely millions in terms of the value of the players we packed. So if you haven't watched that, go check it out. Crazy, crazy, crazy pack opening. And now Rudiger can go in that team as well. It will be absolutely insane. Yeah, luck on this account, guys, is just unmatched at the moment. It really is just unmatched. So let's go with... We'll save the 75 times 75 to last. We'll open the 75 times 15. This is tradable. Can we get a walkout? We can get a walkout. Is that Jonathan Tarr? No, it's not. It's goalkeeper France. It's going to be Mike McNan. Do you know what? I said that yesterday. We packed him yesterday in yesterday's video as well. Every time I see Mike in the tunnel, I just think it's going to be a centre-back. He's absolutely massive. Okay, guys, down to the last two packs here. We've got the 82-plus Team of the Week pack. These aren't actually very good. I don't really think there's been, like, many insane pulls from this. There is a Hansen, and if you saw the video from a couple of days ago, we did pack a Hansen. Can we repeat that? Can we get Hansen in this? Can we even get a walkout? It's not, it's not going to be... That's going to be Grassy. We've had the same one. Our other one's tradable. But by the way, I'm taking that. An 86-rated team of the week is going to be so good for SBCs. We're seeing that requirement more and more now. So yeah, guys, we are down to the last pack of our rival rewards. I will say this, though. They've been much better than... I had Div 2 last week. We didn't get anything from Div 2. I don't think. Literally nothing at all. It's been much better here. And the pack luck continued. We've hit a massive card in Rudiger. The team just keeps getting better. We, the count just keeps getting luck. And can we finish it on a walkout in our 75 times 35 pack here we go it's a woman it is a walkout right wing oh my god do you know what i, I forgot she's team of the week isn't he but honestly i thought for a second again but that's going to be a beth mead i'm pretty sure yeah beth mead it is a beth mead just the one walkout but look we'll take it we'll take it an inform in there as well and guys as well look here we still got like some tradable team of the weeks here couple of walkouts that'll sell for a bit as well like we're probably more like around about that 1.2 and then if we sell that rudiger will be even higher let's have a little look here guys i'm not i'm not sure whether i should sell that rudiger or not but let's see if he actually fits the new team so yeah guys if you did see yesterday's video we did pack not only did we pack mendy here which is like 150k. He's untradeable but still insane. We also went and packed Sanchez from a 50k pack untradeable and by the way guys i've used him in rivals absolute monster like genuinely i'm so happy with this card and in our guaranteed icon pack we got makalele so the, the accounts have been crazy and now obviously right now we have just gone and got tradable rudiger and like he does just fit straight in the team guys oh my god he's got is that defender plus plus as well wow i've not used anyone with defender plus plus yet i think that i think he's gonna stay guys 
I think he's going to stay. I'm just going to use him there. Him and Mendy now. And the team's looking really insane now. But yeah, guys, look, look at this team, man. I've been absolutely blessed this year. But it just shows you guys, you don't need to spend... Like, honestly, you don't need to spend a penny on this game other than just the actual purchasing of the game itself. Like, the amount of money people waste in FIFA points is just... And even buying coins, guys, it's not worth it. Like, I think I'm going to make a separate video. I've been thinking about doing this for a while. I might actually make a separate video just talking about, like, FIFA points in general and my view and my history with FIFA points because I feel like, you know, people talk about issues in life, like, you know addiction addiction is usually associated with like drug use and i guess gambling but when you when you talk about it in a context of a game um it's kind of overlooked a little bit i guess because it's not seen as like you're not betting on a sport or something but guys there's there's a real issue around fifa points and the gambling addiction and i have my own story with that as well and I think I am going to make a separate video, a bit of a tangent here, but I think I'm going to make a whole separate video just talking about my experiences with it. Because I think it is, um, it's a hard thing to get your head around, it really is. And it, people can look at it as almost a bit of a joke because it is a game, but it, is, it, isn't a, it really isn't a joke. And for some people, it's, it like really fucks their whole lives up, it really does. So, But this is just showing you right now, like guys, I'm not put a penny on this game other than buying it. Yes, you have to get lucky, that's the whole point of it. But there is an element to persistency because if you, you're, you're getting annoyed or I'm not packing anything and then you load up FIFA points to pack something, you, you're just falling into the trap. My mentality switched. And before, I don't want to get into it too much. Like I said, I'm make a separate video. My mentality switched when you realize in a year's time you will be playing this game. And I think that's how you have to look at every game. With that mindset though, 1.1 million coins. I don't want that just to sit there. I do want to buy some players for this team. And there's so many options we can go down to upgrade this squad. So many different players I want to have a look at. But for now, guys, that's how we're going to leave it. Anyway, guys, if you are still watching to this point, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.